What it do, crew? It's Alyssa. Um, here we are, November 23rd, a day before my second chemo treatment. It's day 13 after my first treatment. And guys, it is, as you can see, hair all over me. The last time that I am fixing my hair, because tonight is the night that I have decided to do a brave shave party. That's what I'm calling it. It's a very vulnerable thing, but it's time. It's time. Um, I did not realize I would have to shave my hair this soon. I thought, you know, I've been really hopeful. My hair is so thick. just coming out in handfuls and um, I woke up this morning I actually had a dream last night which I believe God was preparing me for this moment um, I had a dream last night that my hair fell out and woke up and ran my hair ran my hands through my hair to find clumps of my hair in my hands and uh, after I took a shower and saw how much of it was coming out, realized today is the day. So tonight, um, I am going to be having a Brave Shave party. This is very <laughs> unnerving, straightening my hair right now and watching all this stuff like, ah! y'all, do you see this? Um, for this moment it is very surreal um <laughs> I've hid behind my hair for so long and I'm sorry, the bathroom fan is going. My fan doesn't turn off in this bathroom. I've hid behind my hair for so long, all of my life. Um, very insecure about my looks and mainly because of being in abusive relationships and divorce, you know, and rape at 14. Um, my hair was the one thing that I hid behind it, it made me feel secure. It was my security blanket. It was my safety net. It was something I constantly changed up, was constantly having fun with it. I'm just trying to show you guys this real life process. Um, and the truth is the thought of not having my hair freaks me out because no girl feels pretty without her hair. Um, but tonight we are having a brave shave party <laughs> because I'm going to be brave through this process. I am learning that my mind and my voice are two things I can control throughout this process. I may not be able to control my hair, which honestly is why I'm going ahead and shaving it while I have a little bit of control before it just starts like falling out by huge clumps. Um, I may not have control of the situation with chemo. I may not have control of what it is I'm having to process through, but what I do have control of is my mind and my voice. And I'm going to keep my mind right. That's why my bathroom mirror is covered in scriptures. That's why I'm constantly get going live and teaching you guys that your mind is something that you control. It's something that you have authority over. And, and declaring the mind of Christ is the best thing you can do in moments like this. And um, 
for me. I want to show you the real life process of what it looks like to go through something traumatic and still keep your mind right. Tonight at seven o'clock, we're doing a Brave Shave party and I'm going live with my Facebook following and we are going to shave my head with my family. We are gonna celebrate the process because there's promise in the process. Even when you don't understand it, there is promise in the process. And um, as soon as we're done shaving, we're going to worship. We're gonna do what we do. We're gonna get behind the keyboard. We're gonna worship. We're gonna worship through the storm. We're gonna worship through this journey because God is greater than cancer. Jesus' name is more powerful than hair falling out. It's more powerful than divorce. It's more powerful than, than depression. It's more powerful than the situation. And um, I wanted to be very real and open with everybody from the beginning of what it looks like to truly embrace a season, understanding that your reality may seem really real, but it's not what you rely on. You rely on God. You rely on his word. You rely on his promise. And I won't lie to you and tell you that this is easy. I won't lie to you and tell you that this is an easy decision. Especially when you've relied on your hair for so many years. Oh my God. Oh my God. You've relied on your hair for so many years to make you feel beautiful, to help you feel beautiful. And here you are now having to cut all of it off. So tonight is the night that I shed the one thing that I have clung to my entire life to find worth Tonight is the night that I shed the one thing that I have clung to to find beauty, to find acceptance, to find love, to find attention. It's the one thing that I have clung to for so many years. I've switched it up, I've changed it up, and today I completely shed it. I completely get rid of it and truly find out what it means to rely on God and only God to trust in him. I'm going to take you guys through this entire journey with me. But you just experienced me fixing my hair for the last time. Before I have no hair at all. And guess what? I win because Jesus won. I win because Jesus won. I am an overcomer. I am, I am who he says I am. I am who he says I am. That is victorious, that is healed, that is blessed, that is prosperous, that is full of destiny and purpose. I love you guys. Do the same.